Okay, good afternoon. So I am recording a new video, who no. uh, because uh, apparently I spend too much time on Facebook. Well, to be honest, considering I'm converting to Judaism, I like to be debating with Christians and other religions to make sure that my faith is real, that I'm not lying to myself and to... You know, because, you know, you have certain circumstances that make make you believe in something. And um, you're not exposed to other belief systems. And so you make the decision because you're not exposed to other belief si systems. So you're making the conscious decision to be exposed to other religious systems and debating. And that's what I've been doing since I found out, you know, since I started my conversion process, because I want to be sure that I'm not lying to myself. And I know I'm not lying to myself, but I'm keeping this up because I want to know if there is any argument that can waver my faith. I don't want to convert and then comes an argument that completely changes my mind. I don't think it's going to happen, but it could. I mean, I just, I know someone who changed overnight her belief system. So who, who knows? So that's why I am in those debate groups. Um, anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah, I took off this one because it was sweaty and I put on the dress. Um, so, um, and yes, my hair is still a little wet. Um, so, uh, what am I saying? So, I go on Facebook and I debate with people on Twitter too. Uh, although my Twitter is more political, so yeah. And there is a great deal of anti-Semites, both from the left and right, in those religion groups. And instead of debating, <sighs> first and foremost, they spend their time saying that Jews are doomed. Then they misquote the Bible, saying it proves who is the Messiah. Of course, when you say they, that uh, those passages are taken out of context and actually they refer to someone else in the Bible, they get upset and they start with their anti-Semitic um, stuff. I'm sorry. So, uh, in one such groups, First, they have the Hebrew Israelites, the most racist piece of trash group I've ever seen in my entire life that try to deny Jewish ancestry and um, claim that Jews uh, are imposters, that they are the true Hebrews and whatever they claim. Um, and uh, th this is important because they have the same rhetoric as leftists, anti-Semites, and Nazis. And this is what is upsetting to me, because in the same discussion, they both condemn you for being a Zionist and defending the state of Israel <clears throat> and Israel's right to exist, and then they complain that Jews are all over the world controlling the world other world or order and uh, infiltrating every government and that they should leave their countries. I mean, oh, the cognitive dissonance. I think they're just one step away from Hitler. It's like they're just afraid to say what they really want to, that Jews cease to exist. And this is so upsetting because they're saying they're not anti-Semite, that they're not anti-Jewish, that 
It's like they have all those conspiracy theories that infuriate me. And then they claim they're not anti-Semites. Anti -Semites. The worst of them is that they don't want Jews in their countries. They want Jews to leave every country that they invaded because they ruin every single country. Of course, they spread a lot of Nazi propaganda. And it's curious because leftists, Nazis, and uh, the, the Black Hebrew Israelite cult all share Nazi propaganda from the 1940s. It's scary that all of them spread the same propaganda from the 1940s against Jews. That is scary. And then they want Jews off their countries, but they don't want Israel to exist. And I mean, let's do the math. If you don't want Jews in your country, and if you don't want to give them the right to Israel, the right to their own government, the right to exist, literally, where do you put Jews? On the moon? On Mars? Or you burn them on the sun? You just send a, a space shuttle with no return to the sun? That's what you want to do to Jews? Because, come on, if you don't want them in your country, you don't want Jews in your country, you don't want Jews in Israel, where do you put all the Jews? Gosh, it's so frustrating how they don't understand the repercussions of what they're saying. They're basically just saying, I want to murder all Jews, but they're not, they're just not um, smart enough to realize all their prejudice and all their ignorance and all their Nazi propaganda. It's like, okay, so uh, Jews are occupying Israel. Jews are occupying every place in the world. Where do they belong? Where do Jews come from? Tell me, where do Jews come from? Why did Jews get out of Israel in the first place? What is their original place? I mean, there's gypsies everywhere and you don't complain that, okay, sometimes, but gypsies are a different case. But still, society includes them, tries to include them and gives them so many resources because they are seen as a nation without a land, because they were expelled by the Hindus from their land. They originally, they are originally from India. And uh, they became, like, derooted. Um, but there is a difference, because um, gypsies choose to, you know, live apart in society and the society tries to include them but in the case of the jew everyone tries to blame the jew for everything all throughout history and it's 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 nonsense like romans came to um israel and displaced the jewish population what happened then is the Jewish population went to Europe and other places in North Africa to escape uh, to, 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 because they were displaced from their lands. Later on, they were displaced by the Inquisition, so they also moved to the colonies, they moved to America, they moved to all other places. Then you had, of course, the Holocaust where millions died and those that could escape, again, escaped to uh, the Americas and uh, Australia and um, other colonial areas because they couldn't be anywhere. You took them from their country. You took everyone. You know that you may be Jewish. You may be a freaking racist Jewish because your ancestors may have been forced converted by Catholics. 
So you may actually be, you, should, you know, stepping on your own bloodline and not knowing it. But again, I also met a few uh, Jewish descendants, and of course you have Reform Jews that are anti-Zionist, and they 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 spread the same nonsense. It's like we live in a world where you can't be Jewish anywhere. If you want to go to Israel, you're a bigot because you want to go to Israel and you don't want to come to live in a country where not everyone is Jewish. You don't want to live in a, in a country with Gentiles because you're too good for Gentiles. And then if you want to stay in uh, the, the other countries, then you just want to stay because you want to treat Gentiles like cattle or whatever and control everything and just cause social changes and just to ruin everyone's life. Don't you understand the cognitive dissonance of all this? And how unfair this is that someone all throughout history, all their ancestors were blamed for the very same thing. When all Israel wants, all Jews want is the right to exist, the right to be, the right to have their families and raise their children with their values and serve Hashem. It's, 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 why is, it's, it's so hard to accept that Jews have the right to exist. You know, there are other parasitic um, creatures and there are some parasitic religions that now are praised by everyone and defended by everyone when in fact all they want is to kill everyone that isn't their religion, especially Jews. And they're praised by the entire European Union. They're praised by a lot of people in the United States. And uh, Jews are condemned everywhere. So, I mean, this is so upset. And it's like Jews are accused of bringing in the people that want to murder them to Europe. It's like, okay, so Jews are in Europe because they, was dis they were displaced from the Middle East because those areas were problematic after the Roman invasion, then the Arab invasion and whatever. Jews can't be anywhere there. So a lot of Jews that live there also move to Europe because of Islam. And then you have the nerve to say that Jews are causing the migration crisis. You're the, you have the nerve that Jews want to flood Europe and Israel with migrants. You have the nerve to say that Jews are responsible for all that's bad in the world. It's not that, you know, you know, there are certain people, secular people, you know, people who are self-hating. The problem is communism. The problem is extreme right wing policies and extreme left wing policies. That's what's ruining Europe, the United States, Oceania and all the world. It's extreme politics. Because wherever you go, it's politics that's ruining it. It's not Judaism. Torah-abiding Jews don't care for communism. They don't care for whatever nonsense you want to say, say them. And they certainly don't become Nazis like George Soros. You're judging Israel. You're judging Jews because of a few traitors who sold their own mothers to, to Nazis or would sell their own kids to Nazis because they're just greedy dirty scum. They don't believe in God and they don't respect their brothers and sisters and they're just nasty, nasty people. You can't keep on using Jews as a scapegoat for everything. And I'm sorry, I'm really upset because I this is something I see every day. And I know, I know I need to be calm, but this... Uh, 
sometimes it just gets over me because it just gets to me because there are people usually you either want all Jews to go to Israel or you don't want Jews in Israel but there are people that are so mean so vile that they don't don't want Jews in Israel and they don't want Jews anywhere you know some people are anti-semites because of the propaganda but others are really anti-semitic because they're pure hatred and and then you have leftists defending that person saying oh he's not anti-semite he just knows what happens then they start quoting things about the Rothschilds they start of course using Soros as an an excuse all the nonsense they accuse Israel of attacking the United States they they use the fact that the United States donates money to um, Israel uh, as uh, an excuse that Jews are basically stealing US tax money when you have first to recognize one thing all the money all the aid that is given from the US is mostly spent on US products so basically what is donated to Israel is donated to purchase inwards so it's going to activate the American economy and feed the American economy back also most successful American companies were founded and created by Jews and so basically all Americans are benefiting from taxes from the money from companies and investments and services and products provided by Jews so next time you accuse Israel of stealing tax money from the US just think that if Jewish companies left the US the US would become a hellhole without anything trust me if all American companies that are Jewish owned went were relocated to Israel the US would be a landfill nothing nothing so when you want to accuse Israel of stealing your tax paying money which probably was paid by Jewish companies who create services and job offers so that you and your children can benefit from social benefits can benefit from a lot of things by the way if you are so invested in going against Israel why are you going to a Jewish doctor when your child is dying why do you go to a Jewish doctor when you need some service why don't you just go to someone else that's uh, as like you don't see the amount of hypocrisy you have for telling Jews that they have no right to exist yes you don't say it by those words but that's essentially what you're saying so no Jews can't go to Israel because Israel is occupied territory stolen from the Palestinians whatever but then again oh would you but they they are in our countries they're they're basically poisoning our countries they invaded everything oh gosh pick a position you either support Israel and Zionism and support that Jews come back to Israel or you complain that they are in your country and if you're that madman who has the balls to who has you know has actually no balls who claims that Jews are a nuisance and they have no place in Israel and no place in elsewhere in the world just say what you want to say you're just a Nazi and want to eradicate Jews from the face of the earth you're just such a coward you don't admit the scum that you are going after Jews and discriminating against people who did nothing to you 
I am so sick of this propaganda. It's so sickening. Okay, that's what I had to say today. And I'm sorry for this friend. It's just, it's so unbelievable, unbelievable how people are so bigoted and so, you know, discriminatory t towards uh, Jews. And I mean, you have conservative Jews, you have Jews from all walks of, um, you know, from every, there is no, it's like, for whatever reason, you assume that all Jews think alike. And you have, you, they don't even agree amongst themselves about religion. You have Reformed Jews, you have Orthodox Jews, you have Ultra-Orthodox Jews, you even have Naturi Karta that are complete... Okay, I'm not judging them. You have modern, more modern Orthodox, you have Reform, you have Conservative, Conservative in terms of... You have all those movements in, within Judaism. They don't agree on what is the right thing in religion. And again, you'll see that most communists and most uh, Jews that do the things that you complain about are actually not Jewish. Or rather, they are genetically, they are descended from Jews, but they are not Torah observant. They place politics, they value politics over God, and they are communists. They, their religion is communism. And this happens not only to Jews, but also to people from Christian environments, non-Christian environments, atheist environments. So please stop blaming the Jew for your problems, because just because you don't work hard you can, and you can't get uh, the privileges that you want. It's not the Jews' fault. <laughs> so frustrating. So frustrating. Let's stop spreading lies about Israel. Let's stop spreading lies about Jews. Let's stop spreading anti-Semitic propaganda. More and more, the world is unsafe for Jews. You have Germany, where Jews are literally attacked. You have Sweden where Jews are literally attacked. They can't even wear a, a kippah and, or they're a star of David because if I had this out in Germany or Sweden, I'd be attacked. I'd be attacked for having this, you know? This is not a safe world anymore. Jews are the canary in the coal mine. We live in a time that is very hard that is very, very anti-Semitic. These misconceptions are setting the roots for a new Holocaust and we need to fight them. We need to fight this propaganda. And um, now I want to give a special word to Jews who are anti-Zionist and are pro-Palestinian. You don't know what's going on in Israel. You don't know what they do to Israelis. You don't know what Palestinians say in Arabic. You don't understand Arabic. You know what they say? They want to eradicate all Jews. They want Palestine to be from the Jordan to the sea. They don't want a dual state solution. They want Jews actually dead. And you are being ungrateful, going against your brothers and sisters to defend terrorists who murder you in a heartbeat if they could. You have to understand that the propaganda that you are spreading is, is being used by extreme right-wing websites, by Nazis, by all sorts of anti-Semites, to justify the murder of Jews and abuse and vandalism on Jewish establishments. You have Arabs 
using all your propaganda as an excuse for their terrorism, for murdering un innocent Jewish families, innocent rabbis, innocent children, children that are not even old enough to know what terrorism is. So please do your research. Read Arit Sheva, read Israeli Cool. They show you how the propaganda you are watching is being staged to trap you. You know, you should remember what happened last time everyone started using Jews as a scapegoat. And uh, it's so bad, so bad. So this is my video for today. I wanted to, to touch on this because it's really shocking. Uh, you have people that don't recognize the, the right of Jewish people to have their own government, their own nation, self-determination. And uh, it's upsetting. You have no idea what it is to be Jewish in a non-Jewish country. In a non-Jewish majority, you say Jew Jews are bigots because they want a Jewish state. Try to live in a country where everyone else is Christian and anti-Semitic. Try to live in a country where keeping kosher is so hard, so hard that even vegetarian options sometimes are contaminated and you have no option, you have no food. Sometimes you have to stay hours without eating because there is no kosher option around you. You have to be careful because some medicines have gelatin in it and in, some, in most countries gelatin is not kosher. <sighs> you live in a bubble and uh, you have your own preconceived notions that are wrong. All Jews want is the right to exist. They are not here to ruin your life. They are not here to entrap you. All they want is all you want for yourself. To have your family, your job, and ultimately be happy. And this one now is for right-wing anti-Semites. So you claim that Jews are uh, conspiring to take your jobs, are conspiring to ruin your country, they are conspiring to everything. Now tell me one thing. Uh, so there is Jew privilege, like you say, and then you complain that leftists complain about uh, white privilege. Isn't that hypocrisy? So when uh, leftists uh, talk about white privilege, you say that uh, merit is a thing, higher IQs is a thing, and hard work also influence uh, the outcome in life that someone has, and you don't want equality of outcome, you want equality of opportunity. So you need to own what you say. If you say this for other minorities, you should recognize that Jews are highly accomplished wherever they go because of their merit, intellect, and hard work. You can't ha have it at, um, both ways. Either white privilege is real, and so is Jewish privilege, or both are just political misnomers so that those that are too lazy and stay on their asses all day and then complain about not having a job, about not having a good life, can feel better about their lazy, lazy lifestyles. I'm sorry, I have no pity whatsoever to those hypocrites because, let's face it, either Jews are in power and in high-profile jobs because they have higher intellects, they are hardworking, and that's on their own merit. And you can say the same for white people in higher-profile jobs. 
well, Jews are mostly white, but you know what I mean. You know, those propagandists don't consider, you know, again, anti-Semitism. But what I mean is white privilege is not a thing and neither is Jewish privilege. All white people and all Jews or most Jews and most white people that are in high profile jobs and high positions are there because they worked hard, have good intellects and they merit those positions. Either that or their ancestors did, but they are driven and they work. And um, this is not a conspiracy. It's just reality. Take it as you, as you will, but it's reality. So please stop attacking the rights of Israel to exist. And think a little. If you don't want Jews in your country, you should support the state of Israel and its right to exist. But you don't want Jews in your country. You don't want them anywhere. You're just afraid of people calling you for what you are, a Nazi. So this is it for today. Bye.